Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your friend Pastor Roy talking to you a word of encouragement this morning. And that is don't complain about what you don't have. Use what you do have. There are so many people with so many gifts that I wish I had. I would love to be a singer. When I hear the, the, the vocal abilities of some people, they move me. I'm touched. The power of, of uh, the human voice in song is magnificent, it's beautiful. But you know, I don't have that gift. God did not give it to me. And I could go to school for a long time and I could sing better than I do, but not on that level. I do have gifts that God has given me. I remain unidentified right now. But, but the idea is, you know, admire, appreciate, affirm those who are gifted, but if God has not gifted you in those areas, leave it alone and focus on the gift that God has given you. You think of Moses, he did not have the gift of oratory. He was a stutterer. And yet God gave him a call and gave him enough support to be able to accomplish the job that God sent him on earth to do. And uh, he was a leader. He led the children of Israel out of Egypt to the border of the promised land. He used the gifts that he had and we can say, well, you remember when he was at the Red Sea and the Egyptians were behind him and they were coming and they had the Red Sea before and they had nowhere to go. And Moses could have complained about he didn't have an army, he didn't have a military, he didn't have transport to get across this Red Sea. But he used what he did have. He had a stick, a staff, and faith in God. Don't complain about what you don't have. Use what you do have. David was gifted in the area that God gave him gifts. He was a songwriter. He was a musician. And his music was able to comfort the spirit of King Saul when he was in emotional distress. Uh, I don't remember hearing or reading about any sermon that David preached. But I have uh, 150 or so songs, poems that he wrote. And I'm aware he didn't write all of them, but that was his area. Use what you do have. Find out what you do have. Look and, and check. And look inside. And now, uh, David, again, you know, when he came against Goliath, he, he, he didn't have a rifle or a pistol or a bazooka or a spear or a sword. And they mocked him, like maybe they don't appreciate the gifts that you have. But he used what he did have. He honed what he had. You can be sure when he was up in the, in the hills tending sheep that he did some target practice with his sling and a couple stones. He honed and perfected the gift that he did have 
And of course, she used it effectively. You have gifts. God has put within you talents, abilities, creativity, intelligence. Use what you do have. Don't be jealous of what others have. And if I may say this, um, why not provoke them to envy with the gift that you have? <laughs> See, uh, we don't deliberately, of course, provoke people to envy, but the Apostle Paul said something like that, did he not? Uh, there, there, are, there are gifts as varied as the colors in the rainbow and beyond. There's a gift of hospitality. You remember the, the, the what was it, the five loaves and the two fishes? Well, I wouldn't say that that boy had the gift of hospitality, but some of you do have. have the gift to bless, to lift, to minister. I would say to those who desire to be in, in a ministry, and uh, especially public speaking, as in preaching and teaching, if God has put it on your heart to do so, then hone work at, develop the gift that God, or the desire that God has put within you to minister in these areas. And don't give people Saturday night leftover specials. Minister out of your quiet time with God, your, 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 your devotions, your prayer life, and so on. And then you may not even have to read your sermon, but you can preach it out of the, the, the vibrant, living water that flows from out of your innermost being. Because you don't want to just convince people in their head. You want God to impart something to them so that they'll be able to rise to the call of God in their lives. And so there are other examples that we could use, biblical examples, but um, uh, we have Moses and we had David. They didn't have what the world would say they needed, but they used what they did have and they got the job done. So brother, sister, develop home the gift that God has given you that God has put within you, that God has led you in that direction. And then, don't complain about what you don't have. Use what you do have. My neighbor's passing by and he gave me the thumbs up. God bless you. <laughs>